there's no disease that is deadly and then you suddenly you're cured going to Italy. <laughs> no, it's the whole um, the whole premises for Nora being a heroine is really that she saved her husband's life, her husband's life. Right. But if we take away that, it just falls. It just falls. So what she's we only have her version of this trip. And what she tells her friend is that her husband was uh, terminally ill uh, out of uh, overexhaustion. He had been working too hard. For a whole year he had been working too hard. And then she says, the doctors came to me behind my husband's back and recommended me to go to Italy. Right. And then he would survive. Uh, so one can ask, what sort of disease is it that you can get completely well from from going one year to Italy? It doesn't exist such a disease. There's been theories that he had tuberculosis, but in fact there is a lot of side effects like long-term effects of tuberculosis. And she says very um, concrete that he has no he is now as healthy as ever mm. uh, and strong as ever. Well, so it all we have to believe Nora that it was because out of over exhaustion, and this is a young man, newly wed, who is getting terminally ill out of over exhaustion. <laughs> um, one can ask, and why is that? If it's true, so why is that? And the reason is simple: it's because Nora is a spending bird, right. and he says all the time to her that it's very expensive to have a spending bird. <laughs> And he has to work very yeah. hard. He has to get a promotion. He has to get yeah. a new job yeah. because she loves to spend money. But also the thing that she said, the doctors came to me and we could wonder why. Was it a whole team of doctors coming to Nora, recommending her not to tell her husband that was terminally ill? It just really doesn't make sense. Also taking into account uh, the place of the, the women in society at the time, I don't think the doctors would come to the wife mm. exclusively. So it seems it's very clear that Nora, she really wanted to go to Italy for fun. She yeah. loves pleasure, she loves luxury, she loves the South, and she had to find some way to make them go to Italy. Uh, she wanted to go just like all the other young wives. <laughs> Um, and then she actually takes up her loan herself yeah. to go to Italy and later she makes her husband pay uh, the deductions and interests right. for this luxury trip. That's the most amazing thing because she has been working so hard and trying to hide it from Torvald and it turns out that basically he's been... <laughs> he's been paying for it. <laughs> the whole time. And she cashes in on having saved him. Yes, um. so there is no, there is no uh, reason to believe uh. that he was, he was actually dying. And, and if you take into account that he's very parano paranoid, mm. uh, so probably if she wanted to go to Italy the, the, uh, and save his life, the easiest thing would be to just tell him mm. that you, uh, you're going to be saved if you go to Italy. Right. But she chooses not to tell him, and that's probably because he isn't right. mortally ill.